El Pencador with a forearm. My goodness! And El Pencador might take point. Oh my! Suicide time! Look at this big break off the grand killer. El Pencador! Oh my! Check this out. What balance by Sinister as he stands on the top rope. My goodness! Together. Oh my! With a sword. With a sword. Let me in or kill me now. Me out. MAW No Limits Division currently has top contender I Am The DJ waiting to decide what will be the future of that particular championship. In the meanwhile, there are other contenders that want to get back into the fold. Sinister at MAW's Anniversary Kingdom was unsuccessful when he challenged for the MAW World Championship against Kano. Match ended in a disqualification and maybe Sinister is under the belief that he can successfully dominate the No Limits division instead as El Pecador outlasts the Korean killer often in Earth. Nice snapping, head scissors takeover. Sinister now taking over the match. In a triple threat match, you can isolate one in the ring, you'll have a better chance of winning while the other is on the outside. Two bodies on the floor, Sinister watches as the Korean killer. Just attacked. El Pecador with a forearm. My goodness! Slingshot, moonsault, body attack! And he landed on El Pecador on the floor. Korean killer trying to get out of harm's way. The official losing total control of this man is there really is no count outs. There are no count outs, no disqualifications in this triple threat scenario. It's a sudden death environment. The first one to score a pinfall or submission will win it. And El Pecador might take flight. Oh boy! Suicide dive! Down goes. Sinister and Korean killer on the outside. We got a number of fans running for their very lives out there. Sinister, top contender in MAW's world championship scene, trying to become top contender in the No Limits division as well. Look at this, big pick off the Korean killer spiked El Pegador with a powerbomb right there. Sinister, very slow to get up on the outside. The official is paying more attention to what's wrong with Sinister on the outside than the action in the ring. Clobbering forearm executed by the Korean killer. El Pegador in the past has given Sinister a hard time. As a matter of fact, in Sinister's debut, in made Salt Wrestling. And Korean Killer continues to deliver the abuse. <laughs> Triple threat action right here, MAW, Maximum Assault Wrestling's Halloween Havoc, as it's Sinister, who's got a big headache right here, and the Korean Killer cinches in El Pegador for this big time, delayed high vertical suplex, and all the impact on that drop, on a damage the head, neck, and the back of Pegador, and Sinister, believe it or not, and to break up the pinning attempt, because this is one fall, and you do not want to be left out of the final deciding fall of this match. Korean killer measuring Sinister in the corner. And over and over again, the Korean killer with precision-like attacks, the shoulder thrust in the corner, and I'll really laying in the damage, dropping all of the body weight down on the head, neck, and throat of Sinister as he's down on the eight in the far corner. Quick inside cradle by El Pegador trying to steal this one, but a two count only. Oh, what a roundhouse kick by Pegador, putting down Korean Killer. Back and forth at any particular time. You can't even blink when you see action like this, because just when you think one has the advantage, the other takes over. Check this out, dangerous position for both Sinister and El Pegador as they're both along the middle ropes and supports, and the Korean Killer tries to sneak up underneath El Pegador. Tower of Doom! Devastating power bomb, superplex combination. All three individuals are down. Who's gonna get up first in this one? And they need your help, fans. Who's gonna get up first in this one? Sinister on his hands and knees. El Pegador trying to rotate his body. Three and killer. Might have to use the ropes to get up. He suffered a lot of abuse as well. Three unconventional performers and competitors with varying levels of speed, quickness, 
and agility and tactics. But who's got the best well-balanced attack and who can avoid making the big mistake? Sinister with two forearm smashes on the run. And Sinister likes to take the risk factor and elevate it as the match goes on. He has executed flipping destroyers on El Pegalor before. And can he do that again right here today? Check this out. What balance by Sinister as he stands on the top rope. My goodness! Springboard into a Rana. Pegalor's hurt. Swinging a mess. Oh my! Swinging, spinning neck breaker. Both of them took the fall at the same time. Who got it worse? And Sinister hopes to hit multiple suplexes, multiple high impact drops, so that way neither of his opponents can stand and get up. Oh my, flip it, destroyer, and Alpaca Lore is seeing scars in three of everything. And he's down on the outside, probably wishing he never signed up for this. But he cannot forget about Korean Killer. My goodness. Korean Killer just lofted Sinister, shoulder first into the middle turnbuckle. Very thin layer of padding on that metal support. And now the Korean Killer feels he's got an optimal opportunity to win it, but El Pecalor strikes back. The super kick. And El Pecalor now starts to climb to the top. He's going for it all! Oh man, 450 splash attempt. He overshot Korean Killer very badly. And now, El Pegador, who absorbed the destroyer earlier. What the heck did he just do? The referee, Eli Claudio, has just known his Korean killer on top of Pegador. And the three count went down. What the heck? Oh, come on, he didn't win that fair and square. What was that about? What a dirty, tonight, miserable way to win. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of this triple threat contest, the Korean Killer! Sinister couldn't break up the pinning attempt in time. He was rendered potentially useless with a damaged left arm, and he was trying to nurse his injuries on the outside of the ring. The official didn't notice necessarily that a foreign object came into play. The Korean Killer lays out El Pecador, the masked man, to score the win. The Korean Killer has brought the pain and the agony to Maximum Assault Wrestling tonight with a very questionable victory right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Fans are going to be talking about that very controversial conclusion. You didn't win that fair and square. Who are we kidding? You're a cheater. You're a crook. You're a liar. That was wrong.
Wondering why we take the shit all the day Simple menopause, but she got him shit